Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug and uh, one of my viewers uh, quite nicely pointed me towards a Facebook group that I just joined the other day and it's called Taste the Rainbow. It's a Pen BBS fan page and uh, some interesting reading there and some, uh, some interesting photographs as well. And uh, thank you again for pointing me in that direction. Uh, but one of the questions on there uh, sort of stumped me because it was, uh, uh, what kind of cartridges do Pen BBS pens take? I always assumed that they took Standard International, but I guess I'm wrong about that. And uh, so I did a bit of research, uh, lots of Reddit stuff, uh, conversations about uh, what Pen BBS pens take as in terms of cartri cartridges. I'm a bottle ink kind of guy. And uh, because I'm retired, I don't go into the office every day any anymore, so I don't really rely on cartridges. But if I was going to give one of these pens to, as a gift to someone or recommend it to someone, they might be disappointed knowing that they can't get ink for their pens. That would be a real pain in the patoot. So I thought, well, let's find out. So I, I did a little bit of research, and some people are saying on uh, online that uh, the Parker cartridge. Here's one here and it comes in a, a pack of five. This is the quick drying ink that uh, Parker came out with centuries ago. Quick ink. Um, and I just picked it up my local uh, stationery store, uh, Staples here. And uh, it's uh, fairly inexpensive so I thought well let's give it a try. So I pulled out my Pen BBS 308. This is the first 308 I ever received. I don't eyedropper this pen because it doesn't have one of those little o-rings right here either here or here on either side i tried eyedroppering it i drop i can never say that word eyedroppering if it is even a word uh this pen but it uh even with silicone here it uh tended to shoot ink all over the place so i took the ink out of this this is the cartridge that was in it or sorry the converter that was in it it has uh some of that uh, Caroube de Chypre uh, Gerbin uh, ink in it. But I've cleaned out the section and the nib. And here's the standard Pen BBS converter. And you can see the, the mouth is a bit wider than standard international cartridges on these. I, I sort of compared them. And here is a, um, a Parker. And they look like they might work. The Parker looks a bit smaller, and in terms of length, it's a bit longer. But if it doesn't fit in the pen, because I haven't tried this yet, I thought, well, I'll try it live on camera. Why not? Um, it doesn't look like the ink goes all the way to the end. It might. You might have to shave this down. Let's cross that bridge and burn it when we get there. So let's find out whether this actually works or not. Uh, first, we'll see whether th that will cover the end of the section and pierce the seal. So I've got it in fairly tight. Now let's see whether the body goes on or not. Nope, it does not. So, let's find out. You know, I have some uh, paper towels here just in case. I need them. Now, this isn't a waste if it doesn't work for me because uh, I've got a fake Parker pen coming, a fake Parker sonnet that I purchased on eBay for, wait for it. Wait for it! $9.50. Uh, so, I know it's not a Parker, but I'm going to do a video later on this week comparing the fake Parker sonnet to my Bauer copy Parker Sonnet, Bauer 388, and I know that the, the Parker fake is going to take these cartridges, so at least I'll be able to use them if this doesn't work. Let's see how much I'm going to need to cut off. It hardly engages a thread here, so looks like I'm going to have to cut off a bit. I don't know, is that all plastic or is there ink in there? We'll find out.
And that's ink in there. So, experiment successful, <laughs> experiment unsuccessful. So, even with, did it even pierce? No, it didn't even pierce that end. So, even with the end cut off, I bet you that doesn't fit in there all the way. Well, yeah, there you go. With that much cut off, and I don't even know where that piece went. I'm gonna, oh, there it is. So that's how much I cut off. And the cartridge has fit in the pen. Got a little bit of ink down there. It has not pierced. Screw it right in there. Now it's really tight in there. Let's see whether it's pierced the seal. Yes, it has. Actually, yeah, gotta give him the sploosh. Yep, it pierced the seal. So, that was a successful experiment. Now, what could I do with this? I could probably, if I needed to, well, this tells me two things. One, that the standard Parker Quink ink cartridge is too long for the, for the 308. It might not be too long for the 323. I think I'll try that next. So that's too long. You can't cut off the end. If you do cut off the end, it fits, but then it opens that seal, of course. The other thing you could do is you could, before you unseal these, cut the top off and fill this with hot glue. I did this on some cartridges that I went on a travel trip this past summer, and I wanted to take some cartridge ink with me um, and sealed it up pretty good. That might work. The other thing is to get uh, the short cartridges. Now, they aren't as easily to, easy to get, but I know you can get them. I'm gonna take a look on Amazon and see where you can get the short Parker Quink uh, cartridges. And if you get those, you could possibly use them in your pen PBS pen. Okay, back again after cleaning myself up a little bit. Um, you'll have to forgive my desk is a little bit messy today as well. I'm in the process of creating my annual CD for friends and family and uh, cutting my CD covers. There's my CD cover. And so I've got my desk full of stuff, my laptop burning CDs over here. So it's a little bit crowded, but I thought I'd revisit this. This Parker Long cartridge it actually fits on the end of the uh, pen BBS pen and uh, it will the pen will pierce the seal on there and let the ink flow they look like they're the almost the same diameter so it's a little bit smaller so it was a little bit of a tight fit but tight is better than loose and it fit all the way in there but it's a little bit too long and you can't cut that off as we saw because I made quite a mess but you can get the short version of these cartridges. And I looked at an Amazon um, posting here. And you're looking at twice the cost for half the amount of ink, of course, than this uh, pack of five, I think it was five, was uh, about six bucks Canadian. So it looks like we're spending $12, $13 for, for six half cartridges. So, again, it's possible. And so I would think that the short cartridges will fit in the pens. I also wanted to look at, see whether it would fit in a 323. And it it's, looks like it's going to be too long there, too. Because if that converter, that converter in this pen comes all the way to the bottom, this is that, oh gee, three millimeters shorter or longer. And the 480... And the 380, 308, the 48 is longer, but it gets narrower down here. So I've got a feeling that they're probably about the same diameter at the same distance. 
And so you're not going to get it in that pen either. Um, so if you want cartridges in your pen PBS, I would think that going with the Parker shorts will be the way to go. Uh, when I'm downtown at my ink supplier, I'm going to see whether they have any Parker shorts, and I'm going to give that a try, and maybe I'll do an update. But it was a good experiment to find out whether that, uh, that nipple actually fits uh, into the pen BBS section, and it does. So, again, thanks for watching, and that's all she wrote.